In this video, we're going to talk about the top travel credit cards of 2020. What's up, guys? It's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button down there below. I really appreciate it. Really going to help out the channel. And comment down below if you think I left any cards out uh, for the top travel cards of 2020. Okay, so right now I'm just going to list five cards that I think are going to be the top travel cards for 2020. They're in no particular order, but... At number one, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this card. Uh, it's not a card that I necessarily like moving forward in the long term, but if you're new to travel rewards and you know points and miles and you're trying to get going, I think this is a great starter card for you. Uh, and I really do only think it's good for one year. The reason for that is because the bonus is really good and to be quite honest, that's probably it. You can utilize transfer partners and it has some pretty good protections. Um, that card is going to be the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Currently, the bonus for the Chase Sapphire is going to be 60,000 ultimate rewards points. If you utilize the transfer partners, you're probably looking at a value at about $1,200. I know whenever you go to uh, apply for the card, they're going to tell you it's about a value of $750. That's only if you're choosing to go with the Chase uh, Portal, Travel Portal. They only value the points at $1.25 cents per point. If you utilize Travel Partners, you're going to look at somewhere around $0.02 cents per point, maybe even more if you get lucky. Best transfer partners for Chase, in my opinion, are going to be Southwest and Hyatt Hotels, okay? The card does come with a $95 annual fee, and I'll leave a video. Uh, my thoughts on it it's a review on this card okay so if you want to uh, check that out be sure to just click up in the cards and you'll see the video there okay next on the list is the capital one venture card the reason why I like this card is because you're gonna get a 50,000 mile sign up bonus for hitting that minimum spend of 3,000 in the first three months now 50,000 miles values at around $700 okay um, but the great thing I like about this card is that you get that annual fee waived for the first year. So it's a zero uh, annual fee introductory rate. Okay. You're going to capitalize on that 50,000 point sign up offer or 50,000 mile sign up offer. And then the other great thing is that it's 2x unlimited, 2x on every thing you want to spend on basically um, so you're gonna get two miles for every dollar you spend so that's awesome um, the annual fee for the card is $95 but like I mentioned before if uh, you get approved for the card you're not gonna pay that $95 annual fee for that first year okay the other great thing that I like about this card is that it comes with uh, global entry and TSA pre-check credit um, global entry is a solid uh, perk to have with the credit card um, it's about a hundred dollar application fee that's gonna allow you to get through customs a little bit faster and then if you choose to go with global entry TSA pre-check is uh, included with that as well so it's better to do global entry than to just do uh, TSA pre-check alone um, that's gonna uh, help you get through the airport security a little bit faster so I definitely recommend going with global entry and it's gonna be free for you if you choose to put that uh, application on this credit Credit card the next card on my list is going to be wait for it the chase Inc business preferred card the reason why I like this card is obviously because uh, the annual fee the uh, bonus for two and then obviously you're gonna be able to utilize chase's travel portal as well and their travel partners as well okay now with this card it comes with an 80,000 ultimate reward sign up bonus that's gonna be valued at about sixteen hundred dollars okay the reason why I say that is because um, obviously if you're utilizing those transfer partners correctly you're gonna get about two cents per point valuing at about sixteen hundred dollars and then the annual annual fee for this card is $95 okay I like this card because it's you can use it for business purposes and then you can also use it for travel as well you're gonna get 3x on travel and then 3x on certain business categories uh, in terms of uh, points earnings at number four guys is going to be the chase sapphire reserve now this card is obviously for the person who's gonna travel more frequently than most people would in general it does have a five hundred and fifty dollar annual fee now lately I haven't really had uh, a great feeling towards the Chase Sapphire Reserve just because of how Chase went about trying to uh, compete with American Express you know they they added uh, Lyft Pink they added DoorDash credits things like that I really feel like those uh, you know those benefits added to the card and then raising the annual fee uh, an extra hundred dollars is kind of insignificant and I really feel like they didn't really add any value to the card 
to justify that you know hundred dollar increase on the annual fee okay because I really don't think that lift pink matters much and I really don't think that DoorDash really matters much to be quite honest okay um, but this card does come with a 50,000 point sign up offer ultimate rewards points you're you're also gonna get that uh, $300 travel credit and then it also does come with lounge access like priority pass and then finally you're going to get um, that global entry credit as well with this credit card now the $300 travel credit is pretty broad so it can be used on virtually anything every time you put spend on something you and basically what's gonna happen is Chase is going to automatically apply a portion of that credit now with this card you're only gonna get three points for every dollar spent on travel and dining other than that it's only one point from then on out okay Chase also does have really good protections um, and I'm not gonna go over all those protections but you know if you're interested in the card feel free to click the links down below and look at the uh, look at the offers that that you know that are on my page and uh, you know it, you want to apply for the card feel free to do so it would really help out the channel now with that bonus offer you're looking at about a thousand dollars worth of value um, and if you add the you know if you add the travel credit $300 you're looking at about 1300 and then if you add also the uh, global entry credit you're also you're looking at about $1400 worth of value then um, you know in that first year for sure and finally guys this is a card that's actually started to grow on me lately. Um, I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Um, you know, I haven't decided on which version I'm gonna apply for. If I do decide here in the future, this card is definitely geared towards the more luxurious traveler. This card is actually gonna be the American Express Platinum card, okay? Now, this card also does come with a $550 annual fee. And currently, if you're looking to sign up for this card, you're gonna see a 60,000 point sign up offer. That's good, but it's not necessarily great been notoriously known for switching up uh, at an instance in terms of the bonuses they usually offer higher bonuses you just have to kind of wait around for them but if you don't want to wait and then you don't want to get that 60,000 point sign up offer I definitely recommend you search for the offer in incognito mode on your browser and you will find a 70,000 point sign up offer okay this card is great you're gonna get five points for uh, airlines and prepaid hotels okay other than that you're only gonna get one dollar spent the, the thing I like about this card is that it comes with a lot of benefits like you're gonna get gold status with Marriott and Hilton you're also gonna get uh, you know car rental status with you know Avis Hertz or uh, national I really recommend going with national to be quite honest I feel like they're the best ones out of the uh, out of the three the other thing is you're gonna get a $200 uber credit applied you get $15 every month and then in December you get $20 okay so it's valuing at about $200 you're also gonna get a $200 airline fee credit now this is gonna go towards incidental uh, something like uh, checking bags possibly uh, seat upgrades Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because uh, I don't know for sure. But, you know, if someone can confirm that, if you can uh, use that towards seat upgrades. And then also if you want to buy anything on the plane, like, you know, food, drinks, you know, anything like that. OK, um, the other great thing is, is that you're going to get a hundred dollar Saks Fifth Avenue credit and that's going to be uh, dispersed in two segments. So you get 50 in the first six months of the year, then you get 50 in the second six months of the year. OK, and then you're also going to get that global entry credit as well. You're going to get access to centurion lounges delta lounges when you have a delta flight you're also going to get access to a variety of other lounges including the priority pass lounge as well okay which can be great just in case you know you go to an airport and you find a priority pass lounge that is not so great or it's packed or even a delta lounge that's not so great or it's packed you can always hit up the centurion lounge which in my opinion are probably amongst the best if not the best uh lounges uh, available to you know to the frequent traveler now the platinum card and the reserve card are great cards okay the only issue I have with Chase's reserve card is that I feel like they drop the ball whenever they try to you know compete with the American Express platinum card to be quite honest that's just my opinion you know if you feel the same way let me know let me know if there's something else I might have missed but um, I just feel like they dropped the ball I feel like they increased an annual fee um, and really didn't provide much value uh, in terms of their uh, in terms of their card membership okay so uh, I really do feel like they dropped the ball on this one so uh, 
but I still would recommend it to anyone who is looking to get a significant amount of value from a credit card if they're going to pay a high annual fee, okay? Now, if you guys would like to apply for any of these cards I mentioned in this video, feel free to go down into the uh, comments. Feel free to go down to the description and click on the links in the description. They're really going to help out the channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys get approved, uh, if you would apply using those links, I would really appreciate it. They're going to help out the channel tremendously and it would be greatly appreciated by me. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. But other than that, that's going to conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found the information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know if, uh, if you agree with this list. I mean, it's not necessarily a top five list, but it's a list of a few cards that I think you know are the best for 2020. If you would change it up, comment down below. Let me know what would you add in there? What would you take out in terms of this list? I'd appreciate it. All right. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. All right. Be a good person. Be safe. Be smart. And remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.